Bobby is an exceptionally strong boy. He's well muscled. Uh, his muscles are of the, the long tapering kind rather than the bulky tight muscle, which is an asset, I think, to an athlete involved in a game where agility and mobility are very important factors. Uh, he has fast hands. He never seems to get hit in the wrong place with the puck. Uh, very seldom does he get hit uh, with a hockey stick in the face area. Anticipation is reflex action. When such a occurrence happens, is so quick he's able to get out of the way. Bobby himself talks about having fast feet, and it's the first time I really ever heard that expression, but he's right. He's able to change the direction of his feet, I think, quicker than anyone else. He's one of the best shooters in the National Hockey League. As a defenseman, he stands alone. Nobody shoots a puck as well from the blue line as Bobby Orr does. Bobby's passing ability is uncanny. He passes very crisply when needed and very softly when needed. He has all the passes, the flip pass, the, the short, crisp pass, the long, long lead pass. If you get in the open, Bobby Orr will find your stick with the puck. I think Bobby's skating ability is the one area that makes him so outstanding. It's not only speed, but it's the tremendous balance that he has while skating. Bobby has probably the finest change of pace, uh, or he's able to execute the change of pace better than anybody that's ever played the game. He seems to uh, create speed when it's needed, and I've seen him leave the finest skaters in the league behind, even while carrying the puck. So if there's one thing that Bobby Orr is great at, it's, it's his skating. Bobby is the focal point of this team, but he is not the team. We have a supporting cast of good hockey players, of great hockey players, and of superstars that go along with Bobby. And they bring out this great talent in him. Players like Esposito and Busick who are so often able to convert Bobby Orr pass into a goal. Players like Don Ory and Dallas Smith and Rick Smith who are able to play alongside Bobby on defense. And that in itself is a special role because of the type of game Bobby plays. Well, I don't know if it'd be complimentary to him. He's very much complimentary to, to my style of play. But uh, if he's ever in a tight jam or something like that, I hope that I've uh, got enough ability to be able to back him up and, and maybe make a big save, uh, you know. Well, I sit right beside him in the dressing room, and he's very, very quiet. I really haven't got to know him, even though that I played with him for three years and, and, and sat beside him that, that, that amount of time. But uh, he's very, very quiet, very... Uh, uh, when he really gets up for a game, he doesn't say too much to, to really anybody. I don't think there's one fellow on the hockey team that really, really does know Bobby. I would say he'd have to be the team, one of the team leaders on the ice. Off the ice, because he's so quiet, I don't think... He really expresses his opinions maybe the way he'd want to because he is this type of quiet guy. I think Bobby's got a big edge thinking. He's like a great pool player. He's thinking three or four steps ahead of the, of the next shot. And uh, he's always got an edge on any other player in the league because he's, he's three steps ahead of them. If he wants to be up the ice all night, the score's going to be 8-4. If he wants to stay back, it's going to be 2-1. Some nights he feels like going and playing defense too, and we went about 6-0 on those nights. Bobby is able to utilize his teammates, I think, better than any player I've ever been associated with. By that, I mean, if you get in the open, he'll get to the puck. If you get in front of the net, he'll make sure his shot's somewhere around there for you to tip it in. If you take the man out, uh, if you're his defense partner and you take the man out, generally, he'll come up with the loose puck for you. If the man gets by you, he has the speed to cover up for his partner. He can show up some nights and, and play the greatest defensive game that you'd ever want to see. And he can combine it with offensive play, too. Now, we've just finished a, a very good series against Chicago. We're in danger of perhaps losing some of this momentum uh, from a mental aspect, but we're going to make darn sure we don't lose anything from a physical standpoint. And we've set up a practice schedule for this week 
and I think if we gear ourselves uh, to this schedule and follow it, uh, we should come out of it in very good physical condition and not lose anything with the seven-day layoff we've got facing us.